head to the gym i actually don't feel like it but gotta do what we gotta do and this is the feet I just washed my face. I'm about to do my skincare, so I'm going to share it with you guys. This actually went viral on TikTok, but I've been using it for quite a while. I've not seen really any visible result, but I'm just applying it anyway. I just kind of do like two pumps of it and I rub it on my face before I actually add anything. Apparently, it does increase hydration, but I cannot really tell to be honest because maybe i'm not paying attention i'm not sure then i go in with the ordinary hydroliquid acid i have been using hydroliquid acid on my face but this is the first time i'm trying the one from the ordinary this really feels so good i feel like you feel the instant hydration when you apply this and it's just one of the products that i cannot just stop using and then i go in with the ordinary eye serum as well I actually just started using this recently. Tiny bit just goes a long way. And I just apply this under my eyes. It does help with puffy eyes apparently. I only started using it like a week ago so there's actually like no visible result. Then I go in with my favorite moisturizer. It's actually at the last stage. I need to get more. I do like three pumps or four I think struggling i need to get more this moisturizer has spf and you can't tell because it doesn't leave that white residue that you normally see on your face when you use other sunscreen and to be honest because i don't apply makeup this really glows my face like i can see the glow myself whenever i apply it and it makes my skin feels really really soft and i love it then I just use this eyelash color to call my lashes. I actually got this from Primark. And excuse my disgusting eyebrow, whatever. I'm not even sure what it is, but I just use the, the brush on here to brush up my brows. And the last thing I apply is an eyeliner. And that's all for my skincare and makeup routine. Let's do my hair now together. It's okay, let me cover my face more. Yeah, that's better. Most of you guys might be wondering about my hand. I don't think I show my hands that much, but um, if you've ever seen my hand, I had a fire accident when I was young and I burnt my hands, both of them. This one was more burnt, but this one was kind of like okay, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to do my hair now. So I'm applying, oh my god, okay. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm applying. Applying this henna, I got it from the local shop in my area and it's the maroon henna. This is how my fingers are currently looking. I like reapplying the henna because it fades away very very quickly and it's just annoying. And here is my henna done, alhamdulillah. I kind of miss back home when doing my henna, subhanallah. When I was back home, I normally put black henna on my fingers and I'll just be walking around with it looking like those witches that you see on TV, but <laughs> I love it. But the ones that I've tried here, they are not really pigmented, so they kind of look brownish instead of black and I just hated it. So I started buying the maroon one because it looks a bit more better i wish it's going to be pigmented like this when i wash it off but it kind of get really dark and maroon so it's still okay 
washed off my henna this is how it's looking it might last me around like two days like this not even two i think one and then it's gonna go back to being orange but anyways i like how it looks this is the book i'm currently reading it's very small like look at the size of it but it's packed with so many good advice if you're trying to get into self-help books and obviously this is an islamic one i highly recommend this one because it's kind of like a good start it's not too big like look at the size of it and it has so many information that you will definitely find beneficial i just recently started reading it and i think i'm on page 20 or so and it's so good and i just love it i'm just going to read this for a bit and then get ready to go out it's currently like around 12 o'clock or so or half 12. i have around like two hours um i'm going out at two so let's just read This page talks about how Allah listens to us even though he knows what we are about to say. Like it's so beautiful how Allah always wants us to speak to him. Like he just wants to hear our voice. And it's in this book that I saw actually a quote that says that the Quran is just not a book of guidance, but it's a 632 page of love letter, which when you think about it this way, it's just like Allah truly loves us more than anybody and anyone and just the way he loves us is just amazing and if you realize how much Allah loves you your heart is just going to be filled with so much peace and contentment in no matter what situation you're going through because you know that all these things are just a way of Allah calling you to him and subhanallah one thing to be really grateful for is the fact that we have Islam in our lives. Like, without our religion, we are actually nothing. And living a life without a purpose, I don't even know how it feels. Like, may Allah guide as many people as possible in this world. And we truly shouldn't take our religion for granted because it's truly the best thing that we have and it's the best thing that we'll ever have as well. Let's just get up and get ready to go out now. I'm just looking forward to eating something nice. I'm ready to go but i just wanted to talk about the situation in palestine and this vlog um i'll even say not all the palestine subhanallah because there are so many countries at the moment that are experiencing genocide and it is very 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 hard to watch this past couple of weeks have been very very difficult for so many of us i know it has not been easy scrolling through social media and seeing these images and we also feel like humanity and our leaders have failed subhanallah we as muslims have faith that everything that happens in this world no matter what it is it's a test from allah i know palestine and other countries like sudan and congo are experiencing this in a way of genocide at the moment and may allah grant them the patience and the courage and the strength but i know it's not easy subhanallah when we think about it we really do not have any problems compared to what they're going through waking up every day not thinking about what to eat and where to sleep is truly a great blessing and um, we shouldn't take all of these things for granted the first couple of weeks i remember always having this guilt of even existing but we just need to be thankful for the things that allah has provided for us and also make dua for the people that are in this situation at the moment the best gifts that we can give them in this time is our duas always constantly making dua for them in every prayer and also waking up for tahajjud and talking about them to allah asking him for help and also donating as much as we can and raising awareness no matter how small of a platform we have that is the only thing we can do at the moment i know we do feel helpless that things are not even getting better and it seems like it's getting worse but we always need to remember that it's always a last timing no matter how badly we want something to happen it doesn't always happen at the time that we want it to happen. It happens when Allah wants it to happen. So all we need to do is just to use everything that he has provided us with to 
um, help as much as possible. One thing that has kept me going and is still keeping me going since I lost my dad and so many loved ones is the fact that I keep saying to myself it's temporarily and we'll meet again in Jannah inshallah. The strong faith that I have in that has helped me a lot throughout life and that is the same way that I feel with the people of Palestine. It is temporarily, inshallah, we are going to meet with our brothers and sisters again in Jannah. We need to know that this world is just like an illusion. It's a place of trial and test and some people are going to have it more difficult and some people are going to have it less. We are all loved by Allah and He does test us in a way that He wants to. So please try to keep that in mind that Everything that happens, happens because Allah has allowed it to happen. And if you're struggling with everything that's going on around the world, just have it in mind that, inshallah, this is temporarily and we will get through this. We do believe that the help of Allah is near, but it's just His timing. So we need to just keep making the dua and keep reminding ourselves that the people that have passed away during all of the stints in Palestine passed in the way of Allah, and inshallah, they are the people of Jannah, and we'll meet them there. So I highly do recommend that we keep making dua for them and never forget the situation and keep it alive in our heart. That way we are going to have this strength and the courage every time to make dua for them. May Allah ease their affairs, may Allah rectify their situation and also save them from the disbelieving people. My vlog has been kind of long today um, and one of it is because one of my dear friend Mariam said that my vlog is kind of short and I need to kind of keep it longer for a bit more so hopefully it's long enough for her. Shout out to her Mariam watching me all the way from Dubai. I love you and I love you all. Honestly, I appreciate all of you guys. May Allah reward you all. So since I'm trying to keep this vlog as long as I can and I still have a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag. I'm going to take this carry-on with me. And this is in trend at the moment. So many places I have seen it and they have been selling it for like 20 something pounds. And I got this from Primark for like seven pounds, which is very, very cheap. So. We love it. I have my wallet. Let's see if it focuses. This has my initial on it. And I also got it from Primark for very, very cheap. And I really like the quality of this. I oh, Sorry, I have to focus this all the time. This is the lip balm that I always carry in my bag. And I have this pair of sunglasses, which is... Not a sunglasses, to be honest. It's an all year round glasses. It's just existed in my bag. A sanitizer I just never use. And one important thing that I always carry about is my prayer mat. This is a pocket prayer mat that I got from eBay. I highly recommend this for student, for a worker, or if you go out a lot, this is very, very handy because you can pray with it wherever you are. And it's such a good reminder because if you check in your bag and you see that you have a prayer mat to pray, there is a high chance that you would pray. And the last thing is my AirPod that I might not use, to be honest. This is the fit of the day. I'm wearing this jumper from Primark and I'm going to be throwing this jacket on because it's cold. And I'm wearing my August to stay warm. I literally feel like I'm wearing a blanket on my leg and I love it. So let's go. We first stopped at Selfridges because my brother wanted to get his wife a gift and in here I lost count of how many perfumes I smelled but I loved the experience because I'm trying to get into perfumes. Then I headed over to Primark and I also met my friend and then it was time for Maghrib because Maghrib now is at 4pm and I just grabbed a jumper from the rail and I went into the fitting room to pray. We then went out to grab something to eat. On this day, it was very, very packed that I even regretted going out. But anyways, we did find something to eat and then we headed back home. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And inshallah, I will see you in my next one. Asalaamu Alaikum.